This video demonstrates how to search for fire resources in InterSystems HealthShare Unified Care Record and introduces the types of search parameters used in the process. Developers working in hospitals or clinics that use InterSystems IRIS database to store healthcare data can retrieve and store patient data in the fire format by specifying parameters related to symptoms or demographic information. Searching for resources means selecting or retrieving those resources that satisfy a set of conditions. Because of this, most search requests use the GET method, with the question mark in the URL to specify the condition. Before we look deeper, it is important to note that Unified Care Record applies consent rules that determine which fire resources are returned by a search. If the fire client does not have the proper consent to view a resource, it is omitted from the search results. Several types of parameters are used in searching for fire resources. We will start with the simplest parameter type, the standard parameter, which contains only one search condition. Suppose you want to search for all male patients. To do this, you will need to add patient as the resource and then specify the condition as gender equals male and click send. The search results returned include all male patients in the system. You can also combine multiple conditions in a search by using the AND or ampersand syntax. For example, adding ampersand family equals Smith to these search parameters returns only male patients with the last name of Smith. If you only need one of two conditions to be true, an OR condition, you should use a comma delimiter instead. For example, you could search for observations with either glucose, GLU, or white blood cell count, WBC. The OR search is supported for all resource types except patient in Unified Care Record. Another helpful technique when searching is using INCLUDE, which allows for retrieval of additional resources referenced in the primary resource of the search. For example, if you are currently looking for all the conditions of a specific patient, you could use INCLUDE to include that patient's contact information in the result as well. Finally, you need to know how to handle errors that occur during the search process. When a search fails, the server will return operation outcome. A search might fail because the parameters have an incorrect format or refer to a non-existent resource, or they may be missing context. It is important to note that an empty search result is not an error. It could just mean that no data matched the parameters of your search. Now that you have learned how to search for fire resources in HealthShare, you can sort and organize patient records based on certain criteria. Standard and combined parameters can be used to optimize your fire searches according to your current needs and circumstances. Follow this link to the fire search page and visit the InterSystems documentation website to read more about searching for fire resources and how these searches are supported within HealthShare Unified Care Record.